So just trying to catch the light here on this really attractive little watch by Raymond Vale. And yes, that's how you pronounce it. Um, Raymond Vale. And yeah, so you can just see there the mother of pearl on the dial. I'm going to come in closer on the dial in a minute because there is a tiny little issue with it. Um, uh, I don't think it's going to turn into anything, but just want to look at that. Um, but yeah, just uh, today a quick video on this attractive piece. It is a court, simple quartz watch. It's coming for a service, but I just I just like the look of this watch. Um, so let's let's just go over it. Oh, we've got the mother of pearl uh, dial there. We've got the um, and there are uh, shades of Cartier in the styling of this watch. It's, it's a bit like um, the Santos a kind of round version of that. Um, and so, yeah, we've got the um, we've got this kind of bezel coming around the edge here with these. I think they're fake actually. They're, they're meant to look like rivets. Um, it's a bit kind of almost utilitarian, um, but at the same time, you know, really quite attractive. But there's a definite Cartier thing going on there. Um, I, 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 I guess Raymond would uh, <laughs> take issue with that. But from my perspective, that that's what's going on there. Um, these hands are nice and feminine. They're they're rounded. Remember, this is a lady's watch, and the indices as well. There's there's they've taken all the kind of sharp edges. There there aren't any sharp masculine edges on this watch. Everything is nicely rounded. Um, so let's have a look at the movement inside it. Um, essentially, the watch has come in for a service um, and a repair to the bracelet, which I'm going to dwell on in a minute basically um, we've got a deployment clasp on here and uh, we're missing a spring bar in here and it's not just a, sec a simple case of uh, whacking a standard new one in um, we're going to have to source a, a spring bar for that so yeah little uh, Raymond Vale watch and let's have a look at the movement now but before we look at the movement, I said we'd just have a closer look at the dial. Um, and you can see the issue there. You know, mother of pearl is a natural substance. And you can see we got a little bit of cracking around the number three um, indice on the dial there. The rest of the dial looks good. Um, I don't think that that is going to turn into anything anytime soon. Um, and you can't see it without the loop anyway. And I've got some pretty powerful magnification on this. Um, so I don't think that's going to be an issue, but I will mention it um, to the lady that owns the watch. There we are. Okay, just looking at the movement then. Um, and I've done a battery change on this. Uh, and as you can see, I've just put in a new 321 battery. Um, the movement tells us that it's got three jewels and you can see two of those jewels there quite where the third one is i'm not entirely sure um, and you can see from the logo there that it is a swiss eta movement um, and it looks to be the 901001 movement um, so swiss eta movements uh, are nice um, they have jewels uh, they are well made so raymond vale has put a you know reasonably good movement uh, albeit a quartz movement inside this watch uh, so that's the movement let's have a and it's all working fine now so let's have a look at the issue with the bracelet okay the bracelet um, which has got a little bit of dust on it there and we'll get rid of that in a moment um, but it has been ultrasonically cleaned uh, there was quite a lot of gunk on the bracelet before it went in the ultrasonic cleaner and you can see it's quite shiny there we just need to brush some of that dust off um, and there's the issue you can see the deployment clasp attaches to the bracelet there should be a little 
uh, spring bar in there that uh, achieves that attachment to the bracelet. Um, so you'd think it would be a simple case of, you know, going to your box of spring bars and let me just show you that. And here is a standard uh, box of spring bars that I use all the time on the bench here. But actually turns out that um, this particular bracelet uses a smaller diameter spring bar. So we're just going to have to source that and sort that out. So I'll order that and I'll finish this video up um, when I uh, fit that little spring bar. Okay, so the spring bar has now arrived for this watch um, and it's really important that you get exactly the right type of spring bar uh, at exactly the right size. Now, you know, there are hundreds of different types of spring bar out there. There are single shouldered, there are double shouldered, there are double flanged. This is a single shouldered uh, spring bar and it's just the right size to fit in the tube here. He said, hang on, there we go, just with almost, not much tolerance in there, okay, and you can see that it just fits in there perfectly, like so. So I'm going to fit that now and uh, to the other side, uh, you know, to the bracelet, do I use this to attach the uh, this deployment clasp here? deployment clasp here to the bracelet uh, give the watch a just a once over and uh, and then repatriate it to its owner so yeah, I think this is a good job and there it is finished and you just saw the minute hand flick slightly there over because of course this is a quartz movement you can just see the mother of pearl there catching the light. So a very pretty little Raymond Vale watch. Uh, quartz movement, nice little quartz movements, um, such as a quartz movement can be nice. <laughs> um, but it's a very, very pretty little watch. And, you know, we've, we've changed the battery, we've done a little service on it um, and uh, repaired the bracelet. So, you know, all that is now that deployment clasp is now attached back to the bracelet with precisely the right component. And that's the thing about being a watchmaker. The pleasure of being a watchmaker is to, to do everything absolutely precisely to the finest degree that you can do it. So this watch is now going back to the lady that owns it. And for today, um, from the watch bench. That's all I've got for you. If you enjoy my videos and I do uh, videos on a wide range of topics on horology, you know, modern quartz watches like this, not so many of those, mainly mechanical movements and, you know, old pocket watches and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, the variety is the spice of life, as they say. So if you would like to subscribe uh, to my channel that would be really really welcome and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and hit the bell so that you'll hear immediately uh, when I release a video but for now from Pembroke Dock here in the United Kingdom uh, that's it from the watch bench see you later